What's going on YouTube? Not uploaded anything in a while, but today I'm back to work and I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown on exactly what it is I do. I'm gonna explain that. So I'm a lease operator in the oil and gas that works for I basically work for a third party company that works for a bigger company and we do all the same stuff that the big company does they just hire the contractors so they have extra help um, really it's just a matter of time you know you could get brought on to the bigger company in five six months or you could get brought on in just a couple years but for now it's just something I'm doing not what I want to do long term but anyway so I usually start the day 6 a.m. we work 12 hour shifts 6 a.m. 6 p.m. I work 10 days on 4 days off Tuesday to Thursday have every other weekend off so it's not a bad schedule, you know, at least I'm able to plan stuff consistently and schedule's not changing all the time. So it's really not the worst job that somebody could have, but anyway, uh, we just got an alarm on our phone, one of the pads that I take care of, the compressor went down so I'm on the computer right now that they give us and just gonna try to see what it went down on and if I can't see anything from here then I'll take you guys with me into the compressor shed to sh show you guys how to find what it possibly went down on right here in the alarms for this pad it's just showing that the compressor discharge pressure safety low tripped so I'm gonna get out and then I'll just take you guys with me and all right so right now we're inside the compressor shed uh, first thing I'm gonna do is there is this suction wheel I'm gonna close this real quick Alright, that is closed. Then we we'll go over here to the RTU in the compressor shed. <clears throat> and we're gonna check some stuff out. So usually if it doesn't tell you exactly what it is on the top screen then you have to use the cat panel on the bottom and it gives you what you'll want to see. <clears throat> uh, hello, suction pressure. Let's see the time, 7.47. So right now it's just showing low second interstage pressure up there. So on this bottom screen, basically, we'll scroll down to where it says events and diagnostics. And that's the most recent code. See, we got engine coolant outlet pressure sensor voltage above normal shutdown requested emergency stop activated and cylinder five detonation sensor so none of those have to deal with what it actually shut down on so 
we should just be able to fire it right back up. And I will show you guys how to do that. All right, so basically to get the compressor fired back up, we close that suction wheel and we'll have to blow it down. So I'm gonna look kind of silly, but we got earmuffs on our hard hats that I'm gonna put on. And then once it's done blowing down, I'll get right back with you guys. So now that I got the compressor blown down, what I'm gonna do is come back to this RTU screen and basically I will have to clear the active events that are on the screen. So there's a local reset button. So I'll make sure to just hit that after I get everything reset on the computer. So it'll show you the holdouts. I'm going to bypass both holdouts. And then I'm going to reset the compressor. So usually once you reset the compressor, you'll hear this fuel gas SDV open because whenever the compressor shuts down that'll close preventing anything from coming through and continuing going to the compressor so once that shuts down that SDV closes holds everything back until you open it to get it ready to be fired back up um really I'm still getting used to all this I've only been doing it for about six months or so. Uh, you would go through 90 days of training here. And then after that 90 days of training, you go through an evaluation with all of like the foremen, basically the higher ups in the company <clears throat> so it's been pretty good to me so far anyway so right here you can see that the unit is ready to start and then it these units are a lot easier to start than some of the others so you just press and hold local start touch button for two seconds so So once you get that fired back up, uh, there's a bunch of timers that have to go through. Once those timers are done, then you'll load the unit with the wizard box that's right here. So what you do is turn this down. And then you open up the suction wheel that you closed earlier. That way you don't wear down the suction wheel because they're a lot harder to replace than that wizard box is. So once I get that loaded back up, I'll get with you guys. All right, so we got the compressor fired back up. Right now I'm logging in on the laptop. And we're just going to make sure that 
basically everything is running right with it right now make sure it's cleared all the bypasses that we had put it in to get it fired back up and then we have to get the amount of downtime that that compressor had so we have all these apps on the computer that basically do it for us which is nice some things you have to find but this compressor had a downtime of 35 minutes so we have a chat in our phones that basically anytime something goes down you have to put the amount of downtime that it had and what it went down on so we'll acknowledge that <clears throat> and then in our group chat on our phones we will put name of the pad what went down and what went down what it went down on and the amount of time that it was down before it got brought back online Downtime was 35 minutes. Units back online. And <clears throat> really that's it. Uh, other than that, maybe tomorrow I'll run you guys through the, like the GPUs and how we go about hitting sand traps and all that stuff and maybe if this is something that interests people <clears throat> i'll continue to do more to show you guys as much as i know because i'm still learning i mean like i said earlier i'm by no means super smart when it comes to this stuff there's still a lot that i don't know I knew enough to pass the that 90 day evaluation but from here with all the computer stuff of watching wells and how to tell if things are you know if the chokes are clogged up with junk or like there's still a lot that I gotta learn but I'll get this out there and Tomorrow I'll post something new. Peace.